in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed if you want to maintain destiny relationships there are a few keys that you must learn number one you must rise above what we call competitive jealousy you will never be able to maintain strategic destiny relationships when you know that you are prone to jealousy and this is not just an issue of spiritualizing it alone there is a psychology to this i have taught you again and i will repeat it it is not unusual to have this struggle around jealousy when you are in an atmosphere where you see results and then you are alienated from it. But I advise you, you can never maintain strategic relationships until you rise above competitive jealousy. There are people who can never be in any circle except they are the leaders there. If they are not going to lead and call the shots there, they cannot go and sit quietly it is a dangerous mentality we got some of this mentality from culture we got some of this mentality from our past demonic attacks this is why when we come to the house of god we allow the washing of the water and by the word are we together now avoid competitive jealousy the second key to maintaining relationships avoid evil speaking slash backbiting you must avoid it i'm teaching you this to empower you you cannot maintain relationships living in an atmosphere that is perpetually about evil speaking and backbiting nobody will accommodate you under that pungent atmosphere for some of you this is why nobody wants to come around your life there is nothing else to say except to gossip there is nothing else to say except to backbite you see i think it was dr miles munro who said losers talk about people are we together mediocres talk about things but great people talk about ideas never allow yourself to be the habitation of gossip and jealousy people come around and say hey there is a gisto you mean you've been in this abuja in nigeria and you've not heard do not allow your atmosphere to be the one that accommodates that pungent spirit say amen, amen. you must avoid evil speaking avoid backbiting some of you will talk about everybody and when there is nobody you will talk about yourself because you just have to say something so avoid evil speaking avoid backbiting number three very quickly practice forgiveness and tolerance practice forgiveness and tolerance it will be impossible for you to maintain relationships all through your lifetime if you cannot practice forgiveness and tolerance i've taught you here in koinonia the difference between forgiveness and tolerance let me say it that forgiveness has to do with providing pardon to over a default tolerance means accommodating the intrinsic weaknesses of people because it will happen again and again and again for instance if a talkative tells you sorry i will not talk again you don't have to forgive the person you are wasting your time what you need is what tolerance say amen Number four, be an active contributor to the growth of the relationship. Relationships do not build themselves. They are built by the parties involved. Are we together now? Yes. You, this is true for married couples. This is true for business relationships. This is true for parents and children. Anybody who does not become an active contributor, there, there's, there's what they call parasitic relationships. 
where there are people who don't bring anything at all are we together relationships must be a healthy balance between expectations and contributions when your expectation in a relationship far outweighs your contribution you are a selfish person when your contribution far outweighs your expectation somebody is being unfair on you there must be a healthy balance are we together you cannot contribute one thousand naira worth of contribution and expect one million naira worth of expectation that is fraud never be part of any kind of relationship where it is all about giving to you and you are not an active contributor it doesn't have to be money give love and support if someone decides to invest into your life your children ah, i just called to say um, honorable just to greet you and to ask how you are doing i hope everything is fine my prayers and my blessings are with you in jesus name you have scheduled the season of continuous favor there are many people the day you get a text from them is because another request is coming calvary greetings just to let you know that uh, i am still here two minutes later they just say sorry just to let you know the one million again the rent the way you no you don't act like that don't give people memories of pain when they think about you if you're learning shout amen. amen so my dear brother and my dear sister this may be one of the reasons why people run away from you it may also be the reason why no kind of relationship seems to work for you because you are always thinking about what people will give to you or you have very little value and contribution but you have unreasonably high expectation believing that everybody will come and give you heaven and earth it doesn't work that way let me give you the last key are you learning master kindness and hospitality you want to maintain valuable relationships that translate to open doors as simple as this sounds you will be surprised how many people may not be able to make progress master kindness what is kindness the quality of being friendly generous and considerate that's what we call kindness the quality of being friendly generous and considerate and then master hospitality hospitality is not about cooking food hospitality is built upon an intrinsic desire to see people happy and welcomed let me repeat it again the last key you want to maintain relationships with men master kindness and hospitality please say kindness, kindness. say hospitality one more time say kindness, kindness. say hospitality kindness. many of us are not kind many of us are not hospitable are we together master kindness to your wife to your husband to your children to your superiors to your contemporaries to your subordinates master kindness apostle in our family we don't really give that's all right learn you can learn from today this night learn are we together master kindness say in the name of jesus say it as a confession in the name of jesus i declare that kindness begins to walk in my life say it again in the name of jesus i declare that kindness begins to walk in my life dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaskade bashkana kata branda kate katos. Kate branda kata pakotos koto breke teke lekata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.